Grandma brought the potatoes and gravy. The vegetables and wine followed. Dinner was a perfectly orchestrated event that had occurred every night for as long as I could remember. Grandma was a relatively new addition, and my sister Valerie had her own family meals now in her own house. But the basic ritual here was still the same. It was both comforting and disturbing. What did you do today? Grandma asked Morelli. Did you arrest a killer? No, Morelli said. I almost never arrest killers. In this town, they're usually killed by the other killers before I get to them. The circle of life, Grandma said. Everyone thought about that for a moment. The moment was broken by my dad yelling for gravy. Jeez Louise, he said. Pass the gravy. My meat's getting cold. Morelli poured a glass of wine for himself and one for me. I took a sip and put it back on the table. Best not to guzzle wine two days in a row. How about an autopsy? Grandma asked. Have you seen any of them lately? I'd like to see an autopsy, especially the part where they weigh the brain. It's a shame you have to be dead before you can find out how much your brain weighs. My mom chugged half her big gulp of iced tea, which we all knew to be whiskey. I couldn't blame her.